The statistics say that 10% of healthcare workers will divert medication sometime in their career. My name is Susie Abelhassam, PharmD. I work at Vanderbilt as the Pharmacy Program Director in Inventory Integrity and Controlled Substance Monitoring. So my role here at Vanderbilt is uh, on an enterprise level. So we have various regional hospitals as well as the uh, main campus on 21st Avenue. And so um, our role or our team um, actually looks at integrity with our controlled substances and non-controlled substances, uh, looking at potential diversion cases. The really cool thing with my role here at Vanderbilt is it really varies day to day. Um, we have our day-to-day -day tasks, running different reports and so forth that we need to monitor, uh, but also it can range from answering questions from colleagues on compliance and regulation around controlled substances to investigating staff um, as necessary with concerns around diversion. So we may do audits and investigations that have been uh, bubbled up from management, or we can also have audits and investigations that bubble up from some of our um, monitoring software that we have. My career started 30 years ago. I've been a pharmacist for 30 years. Um, I graduated with a BS degree from West Virginia University in 1993, uh, back in the day when pharmacists had the option to do a BS or a PharmD. I then furthered my career by doing a residency and then going back to get my PharmD. And then I've worked in hospital, I've worked in academia, uh, community pharmacy, I've even worked in a startup uh, company here in Nashville that looked at uh, the opioid epidemic. Recently started here at Vanderbilt um, about two years ago, two and a half years ago. I started at Vanderbilt with the COVID vaccine team, um, so I'd never worked at Vanderbilt before um, and had the opportunity to join that team um, in the midst of COVID. And then there was an opportunity for this uh, position to come open. This has been a great fit for who I am personally. Um, very curious, very detail-oriented, very data-driven. So this is a role that really captures my skill level. The skills that are needed for this job really, again, um, revolve around that curiosity, the asking the question why, not settling for an answer um, that's a surface answer, having to dig deeper. So really being, uh, having attention to detail, having that curiosity, um, being a critical thinker, problem solver, those are all skills that are, have been great for this position. Our impact is really with our healthcare workers and with our patients. Um, we want to make sure our staff is safe and our patients are safe. Um, so I think our, our impact is really maintaining that safety perspective. And we want our, if we, if we have staff that have a problem, we want to help them. Um, so the statistics say that 10% of healthcare workers will divert medication sometime in their career. And that number may not sound like a huge number, but it is still very significant um, when we think about our patients and we think about the, the safety of our patients, um, the safety of their staff, it all plays a role. When it comes to diversion, really the key is access is one of the big pieces. Diversion doesn't necessarily mean that the person who is diverting the medication is actually abusing the medication. They could be abusing for them, themselves, they could be actually selling it for monetary needs, or they could be actually obtaining the medications for someone at home. Um, and we also see diversion with not just controlled substances. We also see non-controlled uh, substances as well. So we can see anything from IV fluids um, to Benadryl to Botox. So really we've had all those cases, so it's, it's amazing to to think, we normally think diversion, we think controlled substances, but it doesn't have to be. The best thing I like about my role is the diversification. Um, no day is the same, no case is the same. Um, we will, our, our typical phrase in our team is it depends. When it comes to us too, it's like, why did this happen? Well, it depends. What do we do about this? Well, it depends. So every case is really going to be different. Every day is really different. There's always going to be a, a need to understand the processes or the operations of a facility, whether it's a health system or a community pharmacy. Um, so you have to have those, that base knowledge. Then it becomes that just that um, being curious. You know, if you have something that you're interested in, just continually learning, being curious, being able to ask those questions of why. 
that I mentioned before. So, because that's always what it comes down to is why did this happen? And understanding the, the, the why behind. We are more.